This is some party. Hideki's doing it right. He's doing it exactly right. This is one of the craziest parties I've ever been to. Is that Donna Nicole Marie Benelli? Hey, Benelli! You got a lot of nerves showing up here. So what? So what? Say what? So what? Party, that double-breasted jacket you're wearing with corduroys, the 70s pornography you're projecting on the wall outside, these two things here. These are the last two Etruscan urns in existence. <laughs> Oh my god, you destroyed one of the urns! Making this one the last one in existence! It's priceless now! Ha, that's right! The final Lego to complete our official entry into the Tri-County Lego competition. The four stages of Ron Howard. Opie, Richie Cunningham, he's only one of the most popular mainstream directors of our time. Eh, Ron Howard's okay, but I prefer indie films. Wait a minute, do you smell that? Man, that Hideki does it right. What a perfect party. Well, not entirely perfect. The cake? You noticed too? It's on their own entire cake? No, that's not what I'm talking about at all. I mean, what if there was some way to cut all the pieces at, at the, the same, same time? time? Like some sort of gridded wire blade system that could quickly and conveniently... Dice? ...piece of cake. Because it makes cutting a piece of cake... ...a piece of cake! What was that? I think that was... my gut. Oh, my God. This is just like Hideki. If we listen to it, we'll get rich! What's that? Need an investor? Oh, my God, we're really doing this. I know. It's really going to happen. And the best part is we'll be... <laughs> Mom, who died? Shmoli. Uncle Ira, what are you doing here? You're not going to your own dad's funeral? It's all the way in Stockton, and my mom isn't going. And besides, I didn't even know him. At best, we were... friendsly. Now, come on, we're gonna be late for the Lego comp. Big deal to me. I really don't care. Because you're in denial! Hmm, how do I make this clear to you? Alpey! What the hell, Steve? New plan. I said I don't wanna go. Snot, come on. You know what you would do right now if this were one of your indie movies. You'd drop everything you were doing, hop in this car, and... I care about you way too much to let you miss something this big. Fine. But I'm telling you, I'm gonna get to that funeral and still not feel anything about my dad dying. Like the open road, we are infinite. Will you shut up? You've been narrating for four hours. Fine. My dad was never there for me when he was alive, so it doesn't feel like anything's changed. I mean, he was in and out of my life until I was eight, and then he disappeared completely. He didn't even care enough to get me real Cheetos. It was some off-brand knockoff called Cheezos. I had no idea that while I was swimming in name brand snack foods. Look, there's a lonely hitchhiker. Let's pick him up and you can analyze him. So yeah, there's that. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. Thanks, but I didn't really... Yeah. It's been pretty rough on all of us. Barry, pull over. Okay, I'm out. I don't think I can relate to this journey. The truth is I have a serious meth addiction and I need to get to an underpass before nightfall. Good luck and Godspeed. What the hell is that thing? I'm not gonna do that. Snot, you need to process this. This is a big deal.
We're all gonna die, Steven. I'm gonna die. You're gonna die. Everyone dies. <laughs> we are all alone in the universe. We are not alone. We're in this together. We are born alone. <sighs> it's so hot in this corn. Please go. Piece of cake system is the real aluminum wire which is spun to perfection in China, where they know how to spin wire. This wire is safe to touch. But I am glad I came to work today. Now, just watch this. Look at this. Watch and see how amazing this is. Look, 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 look at this, look at this, look. Now, I've heard stories of people running this system. We're just gonna get a room, shower up, and then get right back on the road. I think sometimes suitcases can be cello cases with clothes in them. What are you doing here? I'm traveling cross country taking Polaroid pictures of people walking other people's dogs. You can move that way, or you can move that way. But you got to move. You're right. Move. I must clean. Frat boys poop all over room. And in the lobby! They only do this because I tried out. Because his dad was never really there for him, so... You know, it's... it's rough. He's also pretty poor. Well, with a friend like you, he's got more than most. Steve, I get it now. I get why I have to go to my dad's funeral, and I owe it all to you. That, that's great, buddy. And, and I want to talk all about it the minute you get back. Just you and me in the buddy closet. I think she's the one. And, and that I would meet her now, while you're going through your thing? What a wonderfully transformative time for both of us. But... Mm, life. Am I right? I just realized, I don't know your name. I could tell you my name, but would my name tell you that I'm incapable of seeing the color orange? I just have to trust people who give me these. I'm Steve. I'm the kind of guy who drives cross country to take his friend to his old man's funeral, then gives it all up when he finds his manic pixie dream girl along the way. I'm the only reason he even went to the funeral. Oh, I just figured you out. You're an emotional tourist. A what? Barry. Hey, I just feel good taking you to your dad's funeral. Something that makes us feel alive. Something to connect us. But sometimes when you're searching for something, the worst thing that can happen is you find it. So now what? Just drive. I've seen a lot of strange things in my long life, in between the blinks. But that was definitely the weirdest kid I ever drove away from a funeral.